Kentucky students are back to online learning this morning. Governor Andy Bashir ordered all public and private schools be closed due to surging coronavirus cases. Local 12's Catherine Robinson is live to show us how long that might last. Hello, Catherine. Hey, good morning, Bob. Kids will be back at the kitchen counter, the table, whatever became their makeshift desk for remote learning once again. And it's going to stay that way for middle and high school students until January 4th. But look at this map. This right here is going to be key for elementary students who could return to in-person learning two weeks from today if their county is not read here on the state's COVID-19 advisory map. But as you can see right now, it's not just northern Kentucky counties here in the red zone. It's really almost the entire state, all but three counties in that highest level. For Boone County students, it's not a major change this morning. Just two weeks ago, the district moved to four days of in-person instruction from a hybrid model, but returned to online learning before even making it to that fourth day because so many staff members were absent due to COVID-19. Superintendent Matthew Turner says the district will provide virtual instruction for all students through January 4th. This has parents scrambling once again. And while most agree it's a tough decision to make, Boone County parents I talked to have different opinions on the move. When it comes to people's health, I, that has to go towards the top as far as we're concerned. You know, what's the difference if we're at home learning or if you go to school and your teacher's out for two weeks? You know, then you get a lot more inconsistency and a lot of just, it just becomes very difficult. I think it's highly disappointing. Um, I think it's uh, frankly a bit uh, overreaching. Um, I think that decision uh, is better made uh, locally uh, within each of the districts as they uh, know, you know, kind of the, the layout and the landscape of, of what each individual school or individual county is dealing with. Superintendent Turner says the high number of cases in the county had a direct effect on the school's ability or inability to stay open for in-person learning. And he says the district is desperate for everyone in the community to wash their hands, wear masks, social distance in hopes of stopping the spread of COVID-19 and getting these kids back in the classroom, Bob. Hey, Catherine, thank you. Winter sports are also pushed back for high school athletes. The Kentucky High School Athletic Association voted to delay the season until January 4th. Basketball was scheduled to start in Kentucky tonight.